This educational video explains the specific anatomy of the human male sex organs and will include visuals of soft and erect states to show examples of stretching. I hope you enjoy and learn something from this film. This is a representation of the male pelvis. and I would estimate his height at five and a half foot tall. I've added to this model to show how the penis erectile tissue is connected to the body and demonstrate the ligaments that control its angle. The erectile tissue of the penis is actually connected here at the bottom. The tissue here is what holds it onto the pelvis. But there is also a connection higher up in the form of ligaments. The pubic mound is in front, this bone in the front that you are seeing. The ligaments attach near it and circle around the penis and often keep it held up higher. The tightness of these tendons control how upright the penis will be when erect. In most cases, they will not be this tight and will allow the erection to bend down more easily. The amount of usable length of the erection is often caused by this connection. Usually the length is measured from the pelvic mound to the tip. You can see that the place where the erection shaft meets the pelvic bone changes quite dramatically, with even a small amount of erection angle change. Even though the ligaments are still attached in the same location, the change in angle makes a significant difference in being able to use the lower part of the erection for sex. In this model, the lower part of the shaft is coming out of alignment. The actual erectile tissue does not shift its attachment at the base, but bends in between the bottom and the upper ligaments. If you look closely at how the model is attached from the top and as it stretches, it shows what is happening under the skin when viewing the erection from above. Because this lower portion is static and does not move, the bend in the shaft should occur just below the top ligament. When the erect penis folds toward the body, it is bending from the bottom. From this angle, you can see how the shaft can be tucked next to the pelvic bone, but when the erection is pushed down, they can separate a bit. Pushing from the tip does offer more leverage, but the strain on the erectile tissue makes it more likely to decrease the quality of stiffness. This is a representation of the flaccid penis. When standing, it is folded. When laying down, some men have a natural upward angle. When flaccid, the penis usually appears to be only as long as the amount above the ligaments. The location of the bend could be in different places. When doing flaccid pulling training or hanging, these ligaments are also targeted in addition to the stretch of the shaft itself. An uncommon occurrence is the pop or crack of the penis, which is usually a ligament shifting. In this example, I've loosened the ligaments, allowing the penis to hang lower. This can sometimes account for the appearance of a size difference from one person to another. The further down the hinge point is, the longer the appearance. This is a cock ring and harness that I have used for improving the flexibility of my ligaments. The loops of cord to the left and right go around the waist and encircle the legs to hold the ring in position. While this additional lead on the bottom allows for tension to be added by pulling. It has a leather connection to prevent the cord from pinching skin. A simple way to stretch the ligaments is with manual pressure. This should only be done while fully erect to prevent unwanted pressure on the erectile tissue. Contracting the Kegel muscle during each repetition can help ensure the exercise is targeted to the right location. 